So Ryan, uh, a question that always comes to my mind is that a lot of time hiring managers are coming to the idea is, is it cultural ad or cultural fit? And in my opinion, I feel that cultural fit is like we are hiring mini-me's and Maybe there's no more growth for creativity or challenging. But on the other hand, some people are scared that if we hire cultural ad, we don't know if it's going to clash with people or so. In your opinion, why there is a fear and which is better? You know, I would say both and. And I would also say in my scope, um, when I think about the idea of culture fit or culture ad, yeah. Very much as what you're talking about, culture fit, we're looking for someone that fits in, right, yeah. to what is. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't yeah. think we want to hire someone that's going to be disruptive for disruption's sake. So when mm-hmm. we say culture fit, I don't think it's a bad term. Mm-hmm. I would say that that what we need to do is add additional terms because there has to be more than a fit and an add. Because mm-hmm. when we say fit and add, we're essentially saying one is good and one is bad. It's mm-hmm. the yin and the yang, right? Mm-hmm. And, and so culture ad is saying that this person is going to bring something to the table that's, that's going to add to our team or add to the business, right? Uh, if you were to add additional uh, terminology around that, I would say before we get to culture fit, we need to talk about culture force, So on one side of the scale, I would say is culture force, uh, which is essentially uh, we find in many places of work, warehousing uh, would be an example, sometimes retail, where uh, hiring managers and staffing managers would say, well, what's the criteria for getting hired here? And essentially, if you put a mirror underneath their nose and there's some steam, then Mm -hmm. they're able to be hired. In other words, we're just going to keep putting, forcing people into positions And uh, because it's just, you know, we just need to fill spots. Yes. And then we have culture fit, uh, which is better in terms of thinking about what is the culture of this business? Are do their values align with our values? Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with culture fit. I would say it gets it. It also is important then. Yes. As we go through the scale to think about culture, add what does this person add to our business? And. If we were to take that even further, how are they enhancing our business? In other words, uh, is this a person that uh, can be disruptive to a level, but do it for um, for uh, the positive outcomes mm-hmm. long term? Right. So we might bring someone in that uh, uh, has an experience in IT technology that maybe mm-hmm. no one else in the organization does. They come in their culture enhancer because they're going to question everything that yeah. we're doing and find better ways of doing it. That's a culture enhancer. And so I would say that, uh, yeah, some people you hire are going to enhance the company. You, not everybody needs not to. Yeah. Some people need to add and some people need to fit initially. And some people, as they fit into the culture of the business, what we don't want to do is hire a bunch of mini me's and a bunch yeah. of. Uh, and, and build a culture of sameness. Mm-hmm. That's that's the fear. When we talk about why does culture fit not work, we don't want sameness because then we don't have a diversity of, of uh, experiences and perspectives and seeing things from different ways of yes. seeing them. Uh, if everybody's the same, uh, most of us aren't needed. <laughs> so yeah. my, my mentor used to say, if, if we're both the same, then one of us is disposable. And so we don't we don't necessarily need everybody to be the same. We need people to be different and we need them to know the differences are in their strengths yes. and learn how to work together based on those strengths. Yeah. That that's a strong team. A strong team is very diverse and each individual knows and is empowered to live out their strengths as a team. So they know it individually, they know it as a team so that they can assist and help each other, where mm-hmm. a lot of times teams, uh, you have a bunch of leaders, and like you would know, it's hard to have a bunch of leaders on a yeah. team. The reason why is they don't know how to work w- work with other leaders. Yeah. Once you know your strengths and how your strengths work with other strengths. And so when we think about culture fit, it's a good thing. But yeah. let's also think, what does this person add to our team? And also, 
could this person potentially enhance the organization as a whole? Thank you very much for those great tips, Ryan. Again, thank you. And if the audience wants more tips or if you have more ideas, you can leave them below. So tune in next time for another great question with Ryan. Thank you.